What's up, dude and dudettes? Hey, this is Jason Dames. I'm with Final Start Fitness. We wanna give you the right information, accountability, and motivation that's gonna help you create real habits in your life for long-lasting results in your health and fitness. Today, I just wanna bring you a common sense approach to this whole calories in and calories out model. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so this is just a common sense approach to this calories in and calories out thinking. But have you ever wondered why bodybuilders go through a bulking phase and then they go through a cutting phase? You would think it would make more sense, right, to just raise your basal metabolic rate by putting on more muscle, therefore you could eat more calories, and then you just continue to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right, if that was the case. I mean, you'd see some crazy dudes, but it's not as simple as that. And the reason for it is because of hormones. Same is true for weight loss. Hormones, your cells, your gut bacteria, your neurotransmitters, they're all cross-talking and sending messages back and forth. And so we wanna make sure those messages are clear and that everything's working properly. And so when those hormones get out of balance, what's gonna happen is you're gonna either store, store more fat or you're not gonna be able to build muscle like you'd like to either. So that's why they go through these phases is because when they continue, you're continually in a surplus of calories, you start to become insulin resistant, similar to when you're doing diet restrictions for too long. So the body knows this, it's trying to keep itself in balance. It, it, you can't go one way, like a straight up curve on one way or the other. And so with that being said, if it was just about calories in and calories out, I'd just be able to build as much muscle as I want continually without ever have to worry about gaining weight. <laughs> but that's not the case. So the way that we wanna make sure that we keep hormones in balance is our nutrition, our exercise, sleep, keeping away from stress and toxins. And guys, so if you guys can do those things and start building real good habits around that, that's gonna help lower inflammation and keep those hormones in balance so that way you can stay lean and build muscle and lose weight all simultaneously. So hopefully that information helps. We're gonna give you more content that's gonna help you in those five areas. Feel free to subscribe, we'd love that. Y'all have a great day and peace. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up dudes and dudesettes? This is... <laughs> hey, what's up dudes and dudesettes? Dudettes. <laughs> dudesettes. <laughs> hey, what's up dude and dudettes? Right, okay. Let's do it one more time. Maybe flip it on its... So the calories in and calories out middle. <laughs> With that said, guys, hopefully that helps. <laughs> helps. We want to put out a lot more of this confirmate. <laughs> we love you. Have a great day. God bless. Peace. <laughs>